uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this segment also and uh, this video as well so guys as you can see on top in this video i'm talking about uh, this is my third video learning vmware okay so in this i'm just talking about the very basic thing very small thing it is a very small video in that how uh, you know vmware is a platform for virtualization or cloud infrastructure how we can use vmware to make a virtualized infrastructure or cloud infrastructure very basic information and if you want to basic uh, you know videos of this segment video 1 and 2 you can subscribe my youtube channel and you can find from there in those videos also i have explained about the basic things what is virtualization vmware how we can use how we can virtualize our server or computer and how we can make multiple virtual machines the basic concepts so guys i hope this video will be informative if you find it is helpful please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you subscribe then definitely you will be getting uh, lots of things this is my uh, youtube channel so here i upload lots of things like uh, you know virtualization security ccna windows server as of now i have uploaded 394 videos so and different different technologies if you want azure and all you can subscribe and have a look i'm not giving much uh, you know introduction about it and don't forget to hit this bell button so you will be getting all the updated videos notification here so as you can see people are commenting on my videos and asking for support and help so i'm just doing for them so guys this is a small you know introduction let me begin with this so guys if we talk about uh, let me take highlighter here so vm where vsphere manages large collection of infrastructure okay such as cpus storage and networking as a seamless and dynamic operating environment and also manages the complexity of data centers so this is a basic you know uh, utilization of vmware how and why we use vmware and how and where we can use vmware vsphere so we can manage bigger or higher high I mean, very big infrastructure where it will be uh, you know you will have lots of cpus storage networking servers and all and it is capable to provide you all all those of all those kinds of requirement to be fulfilled next one and there are you know uh, and this vmware vsphere software stack is composed of so you will have virtualization management and layer interface so about all those things one by one i will be sharing in my coming up videos virtualization management interface layers and uh, let me move to the next slide next guys here you should understand the relationship between component layer of vm vsphere so as i told you there are three component basically you can say these are the component okay and it is composed so what is the relationship here so i hope this slide will clear you lots of things so guys first of all this relationship is known as extensibility okay first of all you can see here extensibility now you get clients you get multiple clients like uh, v vsphere client vsphere web client sdk and uh, you know other clients and multiple clients this is called interface layer basically okay so it is a complete infrastructure you should understand one by one so you got first of all interface layer and next one let me show you vcenter you got vcenter server so what is vcenter server in coming up videos i will tell you in detail and what is the role of vcenter server here and this is called management layer okay you got interface layer where you will have lots of things clients you got management here uh, which is your vcenter and the next one is virtualization layer so here you get your applications service infrastructure service will be virtualized so you will get your ability security scalability compute storage network so it is a collection of or it is a composed of three layers which is known as interface layer management layer virtualization layer so every layer has their own specific role in this virtualization specific functionality specific work in next videos i will be preparing one separate on interface layer management layer and virtualization layer to make it easy to understand 
the foundation of virtualization, how we can use VMware vSphere. And apart from this, we have a couple of things like enterprise server, enterprise network, enterprise storage. So all these can be connected together with the help of VMware vSphere. We can use it uh, to make, uh, you know, uh, one, you know, working, uh, I mean, virtualized in environment basically. Now, so I hope this will clear your all the, you know, basic concepts about how we can use virtualize and what are the relationship or what is the relationship or what are the, you know, connection between all the components. Next, virtualization layer. So what will happen in this virtualization layer, basically this one. Okay. So what, what, what does it? Basically, if we talk about the virtualization layer of VMware vSphere includes infrastructure services and application services. As, as I told you here, it will uh, you give you like, you know, application services, infrastructure services. If you talk about infrastructure services, compute, compute uh, server, network and storage, this side, this portion and uh, application services, ability, security and scalability. Infrastructure services such as computer storage network services abstract, aggregate, and collect, allocate hardware or infrastructure resources. So this is a basic role of virtualization layer. And the next one, application services are you know a set of uh, various, uh, I mean set of services provide to ensure ability, security, and scalability of applications or for applications. And for example, uh, include high ability and fault tolerance it includes for ability high ability and fault tolerance next one management layer so guys management layer vmware v center server is the central point for configuring provisioning and managing virtual it environment so this is a core backbone of your virtualized network or virtualization which is known as v center how it is Next videos I will be talking about. Now, interface layer. So, user can access VMware vSphere data center through GUI client such as vSphere client or vSphere web clients. That is called GUI, uh, basically uh, interface where we are dealing with the servers. Additionally, user can access the data center through client machine that use command line interface and SDK for automated management. So, guys, you should have this like. CCNA. There are seven layers in Cisco uh, to understand uh, networking and there are three layers to understand virtualization in VMware, vSphere and or basically in virtualization. So you should know what is the role of all the layers. So one is interface layer where we deal in Cisco we deal with, uh, we, we deal uh, basically at layer seven. Here we deal at interface layer, management layer second and third one is virtualization layer so guys i hope this is very clear to you people and there is no confusion in the functionality of all the layers so guys this much information in, in this video it is a very small video short video to make things clear because if you read or if you see big videos they give lots of confusion lots of details but you do not understand so i'm just trying basic basic things small small videos so guys when you put your comments, it feels good because it gives something like, yeah, I have done something and it gives confidence and something make extraordinary. So I will be waiting for your comments in this video and don't forget to subscribe channel, hit this bell button, like and share this video. And next video I will be talking about, this is the URL of my channel. I will be talking about what are the component and features of VMware vSphere and next, next video. So in that video, I will be talking about some around 15 to 16 uh, components and features of VMware VSPV. So guys, till then, bye-bye. Have a nice time.